hey, if you've never tried G Fuel before, you should use my code HeyDon at checkout. This stuff tastes really good and you can support the channel in the process. The time has finally come to head down into the city and finally see what this gym is all about. We got a hop hanging out right here. We're here in Turfield. Look, just take a look at that, Hayden. That's Turfield Stadium down there. Looks pretty cool. We have seen clips of this game from the promotions Pokemon posted. It looks pretty awesome. The gym leader just returned to Milo's his name, but the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. Well, damn. Sunny was looking for you, Hayden. She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up uh, on that what's-her-face hill. You know the one. What? You don't know the hill? Have a look at the map if you're not sure. It's probably the hill that has, like, the weird, like, markings on it that we've seen. We got a, uh, is that Sonius? Sonius Yamper, yep. He's a good boy. I'll show you the way. So we're going to follow the Yamper. And uh, we should probably get a little bit of a heal going unless, yeah, we're going to go. Catch a heal, then we're gonna follow the Yamper. Sorry, gotta make you wait a little bit, buddy. Hate to do it to you, but... I'm excited to see what the gym's all about. I think our team is probably ready for it. Um, but maybe we'll have some... Dynamaxing, or whatever that's all about. We haven't seen any of that yet, so I'm excited to see... If any of that's gonna happen. Maybe... I would only have to... I would have to be able to probably... Do it with my Meowth, but I don't know. If you don't take proper care of your equipment, it can fail you when you really need it. Nice, as he's just staring down at the flowers. Alright, so we're gonna head to the left. And uh, here we have our friend. Thank you for waiting for me, buddy. What are y'all talking about? That geoglyph. I heard nobody knows its name. Maybe it was a forbidden name or something. Really? Never seen it before, you should really go see the amazing scenery from the hilltop. In fact, you should go see it again even if you haven't seen it before. Cool. Interesting little town we've got here. Bow Wow Wow. I got young Bow Wow out here. Also, this lady looks pretty cool with your headband. I took a photo of the geoglyph, but it doesn't compare to seeing it yourself. Interesting. People uh, seem pretty stoked about the old geoglyph. We've got three X attacks, which we're not going to use. Uh, we're just going to continue this way. We have Sonya. Yep, I do remember seeing this hill before. What is the significance of this ship? Thanks, Yamper. Hits us with another Bow Wow. What a good boy. Give him some damn head pets. There's a little photo op thing over there to the left. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. Okay. Thought about what? What do we have here? So that geoglyph. What do you think of it? The darkest day? Dynamax. We're going to say Dynamax. Seems likely. Certainly looks like, the, like a gigantic Pokemon. Suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. Can't just be a coincidence. Well, it's just because just it's it's big? I'm confused. Long time ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. A giant giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was the black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? Interesting. Guess I'm guess I'm the lucky lady who'll be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a league card. Uh, cool. So we got Milo's league card. Does that mean we can just battle this guy right away? He's a grass-type gym leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug-type moves. Take those two. Be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. And also gives us two revives. So we've got a pretty good collection of revives going, which is nice. Go on, then. Get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. Oh, don't worry. We'll battle ourselves silly. Uh, so we'll talk to these people. How can a Geoglyph drawn ages ago last for so long without eroding away? Seriously, does it not rain in this, in this area or what? So perplexing. If I think too much about it, I won't be able to sleep. You know what I think? I think the Geoglyph was created with the help of Pokemon. Ooh, you don't say. Uh, we do have a hidden item here. It's a bottle of fresh water. Restores 30 HP. That's nice. These are like water fountains. Interesting. So you left a bottle of water in the water fountains. But hold up. We've got, <laughs> we've got to go use this thing. We are not tall enough to be that thing, but we can be the squirrel. <laughs> Interesting. What's up? I want to stick my head into the photo stand when I grow taller. Not until then, bucko. Alright, so that's all there really is in this area. A treasure lies buried somewhere in Turfield. According to this treasure map, the trick to finding the treasure line lies in the standing stone. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use that. Use well that strength and find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not, leave a mind to find what time is left behind. Interesting. Maybe we need to get something to be able to stand all the way up on that. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'm sure we'll have to come back to that later. 
And now we're gonna head down this way. Just kidding. There's is there nothing over here? Something's carved into the stone. It says poison. Really? Hmm. Is there stuff carved into this as well? Yeah, we got flying. Okay. Not sure what that's all about, but seems cool. I guess we'll head this way first. We're supposed to be going to do the gym, but we should definitely do some exploring. What's this? Something's carved in the stone that says water. What do you say? Such mysterious stone structures. Were they made by people or by, or by Pokemon? Probably some Pokemon. Also, there's a hidden item, and it's a leaf stone here, so that's actually pretty cool. Not sure if we've even come across anything that we can use a leaf stone on yet, but... Now we've got one just in case. Anyway... Let's see what else this town has to offer. We are going to do a little bit of exploring. It doesn't seem like there's really much. Time for the gym, gym challenge. How exciting. There is a shop here. Milo does more than just work in the fields. Uh, he raises beautiful flowers, too. Cool. So we can't go in there, unfortunately. If you hold flowers, Pokemon will gather around you. Hmm. Can I, like, can I hold some? Can you all give me some flowers? What have we over here? Just a, just an item. Oh, I'll take that. It's a max revive, so even better. A revive collection grows stronger every day. Now this one says grass. So it's like all of the types carved into uh, the stones, which is interesting. So we're just going to head right down to see what Hop's doing. What's up, buddy? Take a look at this, Hayden. The grass gym badge. I've got I've got it in one try. What? You already beat? Didn't you just say it was going to take us forever to get there? I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling. Wooloo. I've had pr plenty of practice at it, after all. I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my rival. Hmm. Well, his Wooloo seems pretty OP. You can challenge the gyms as many times as you want. I guess it's to test your unbreakable will. League cards of gym leaders tell all sorts of stories. Cool. Well, we're just going to head right in. Without any further ado, let's get ourselves a gym badge. Hey, it's Pokeball Head Guy. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. Yeah, he's going to give us a friend ball. Nice. I haven't had to buy any Pokeballs in quite some time. If you catch a Pokemon with a friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time, just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? They sure are, buddy. They sure are. Grass-type Pokemon weak to fire moves? Yep, yeah, that is... that is very true. I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. Okay, so we're gonna come back to that lady after the grass badge. See if she freaking remembers. Just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. I've got a Galarian... If you've got a Galarian Meowth, wanna trade it for my Meowth? Um... I'm not gonna really trade a regular one or a Galarian just for a regular. Hello? Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the Gym Challenge? Your goal as a Gym Challenger is to complete each Gym Mission, defeat every Gym Leader, and gather eight Gym Badges. I uh, got it. Would I like to attempt the Gym Mission? Hell yeah, I would. If you'd like to attempt, please change into your uniform. Okay, so we gotta go up to this guy. Oh, are we just changing right away? We got our uniform on. Number 69, about to do it to him. Let the gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. Interesting. So I, should, I probably should have talked to the people to the left and right. But uh, we changed anyway. So we're just going to head right in. Sweet little grass or leaf logo. Okay. Interesting looking place. My god. This shit is massive. What kind of rent do you guys pay on this place? Yo, this actually looks really cool, though. I like the design of this place. Got some mossy stones and a whole bunch of Wooloo. That was probably what he was saying about wrangling Wooloo. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. Uh, okay. To that blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. So I gotta just, like, push him into there. By the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee. It's also my job to report the results of the battles to the League Headquarters. Now let the gym mission begin. Okay. <laughs> so you just literally start rolling these dudes. Get in there. You get in. This reminds me of like some type of mini game from uh, like Mario Party or something. You stay. You stay in there. Okay, we have 10 out of 20. Luckily, they all kind of flock together. We'll just push them from the side. And oh, these little bastards got away. Hey, you stop that, little rolly boys. <laughs> That one not count as in. We have 17 out of 20. And there's uh, perfectly three left right here. So <laughs> not the most difficult gym challenge. Have they done away with the puzzles? 20 out of 20, bitches. I'm an absolute master of Wooloo Wrangling. 
And there's also a Yamper over here, so it's like a herding dog, which is cool. Maybe we can just do them all at once. Oh, da damn it. That's <laughs> the one straggler. Alright, that's 20 out of 20. It looks like we got ourselves uh, a battle here, too, which is cool. They just bust into that, so we have to just wrangle them all the way through. Interesting. Where'd the Yamper go, though? Hey, buddy. What you doing? He just, he's just having a great old time running around in the field. All right, so we got ourselves our first battle. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. Seems like a pretty sweet gig to work in a gym. Trainer Samuel here. Gym trainer got their own class now. Gonna lead with a Gossifleur. And the background's looking pretty crazy. All of a sudden, we're in a freaking room of green. So level 16 Gossifleur. All right, we're just going to give you a flame charge. Going to get Nugget a couple levels before the gym battle. I'm not sure what the levels are going to be, um, but I think we'll probably be okay. Does have leafage. Not going to do too much. I really see this thing as being quite the bulky boy. And that's going to kill your Gossifleur. Reminds me too much of uh, Floet or whatever. Tootsie grows to level 20. Nice. That thing is going to gonna help us out. Young Tootsie Doe. Alright, so that was pretty damn easy. Also, hold up. Let's check this, um... We're gonna check Nugget's stats, because why have I not... Look, we're working with, uh, 41 defense, 37 special. Definitely an absolute unit. I have heard from a lot of people that the stats are actually pretty underwhelming in this game. But they seem to be about on par. Oh! Oh god, they're afraid of the Yamper. That's what it is. <laughs> the Yamper is here to mess up our plans. We're just going to keep this group going. Just push you along the wall right into the old blue. Yeah, y'all stay there. And so we've got 15 out of 20. Where are the last five? There's a trainer over that way. The Yamper keeps freaking scaring my Wooloos. Stop it, Yamper. Right, if we just get him to go this way, we're actually going to have to do this battle, though. He spotted me. I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their great moves with all their strength and feel great. What, what kind of what kind of dialogue was that? Yeah, I guess. I would imagine so, sir. Young Mark. The shark out here has got a Budu. Okay. Who let this guy work at the gym with the damn Budu? They're like, you know what? You have like about the weakest grass type ever. Come on by. Start you at $10 an hour. Alright, flame charge. Gonna absolutely obliterate this seed. Get popped. Speed boosts are super nice with flame charge. What else you got for me, buddy? Next is an Oddish. Okay. Just about the second worst option for grass types. Just kidding, I love Oddish. But I mean, come on. If you work in a gym, at least have something evolved, bro. A Roselia would have been nice. Maybe a Gloom? Come on now. We got all the speed, and now we're slow because we get stun spored. You bastard. You're going to make me use my Paralyze Heal before we get to the gym. I also should probably have stocked up on a couple potions, but honestly, I think we'll probably be all right. I have a decent amount of regular potions. Actually, I think we can most likely buy super potions now. But we're going to go into this without doing that, because maybe give us a little bit more of a challenge. I'll give a bow wark instead of yamper. Alrighty then, this guy's... Did you just bark at me? This guy's a furry confirmed. Alright, just going to push these last little fellers. I love Wooloo so much. Also, it is confirmed that the shiny version of Wooloo is black. And that means... I freaking need it. Maybe I'm going to have to shiny hunt those things on Twitch one of these days. Alright. Just going to keep it rolling, per se. We, there's two Yampers now. Oh, it's getting crazy. Uh-oh, he's going this way. Which way? Oh, Jesus. I've split up my packs. Uh, oh, God. Alright. <laughs> we, we got a good bundle of them. And, oh, nope, now they spread out. It's getting more difficult. Oh, God. Please, you guys just get over there. That is nine of them. Nine out of twenty. Almost half. Just take these two stragglers because we can. And I think this is the last last one before the gym leader. So we'll actually battle this trainer and get you out of the way. Gym leader lies just ahead of you, but that doesn't mean you'll be reaching him. Ooh. The confidence. Okay. This lady looks baked as hell though. He has a bun sweet. Nice little Gen 7 boy. Nugget is paralyzed, but flame charge if we can break through should be a one-hit KO. I'm assuming the gym leader might have, like, around level 22s, which could be a little bit of a problem, but this thing's an absolute beast. Plus, we have we have uh, Tootsie, who should be, able, should be able to handle. We got 
two solid types on this. What is next? Next is an Oddish. We're just gonna stay in. We definitely need all the experience we can get. So many Oddishes. Level 17. Catch this flame charge, boy. Still faster, even though we're paralyzed. And doesn't quite knock it out. Used acid. That's why this lady's eyes look so crazy. Just got a freaking Oddish at <laughs> using acid all day. Alright, we do break through. Haven't been fully paralyzed yet. You'll love to see it, my little minecart boy. And I do believe this thing evolves one more time, too. It looks like it would be a damn middle stage evolution. Also, we're learning Ancient Power, which is fantastic. Uh, ancient Power is a special attacking rock move that, uh, we were higher physical attack, but I guess we could get rid of... I mean, Rock Blast, we have the TM for that. Let's get rid of Rock Blast. Smackdown is just a little bit more reliable. Actually, I mean... Smackdown is not as good. False Alarm, we're getting rid of Smackdown. Rock Blast, if we hit like three times, makes it better than uh, Smackdown. If we hit twice, it's about the same, so that's fine. Swiper Girl level 19, and Leia has been defeated. Next is the Gym Leader, right? What a strong challenger. Get $1,600. We'd be balling. All right. Uh, so there's one. Oh, man. These guys are all split up. This is a hassle. We're just going to grab these three. We have 11 so far. Why can't you guys just stay in your packs, damn it? All right. We get all of you there. Where's the last of you? Okay. Maybe we can push this guy to, like, his friends. Where are your friends? They're, they're over here. Go to your friends. Go, go to them. Damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. This last guy's gonna be annoying. Go to your friends. Go to your, go to your friends. Yes, yes. So if we get this group in there, there's just one more group. Kind of an interesting little gym challenge. I just like watching Wooloos roll around. So I'm a big fan. Alright, three left. Last group of three is probably gonna get freaking split up, and I'm gonna be pissed. Come over here, little fellers. Gotcha. The Yampers are hanging out by that lady now. Maybe after you beat the trainers, the Yampers stop uh, messing you up. That totally makes sense. Like the good boys they are. Alright, we've done it. 20 out of 20, baby. These Wooloos probably get sick and tired of this doing, doing this every single time a challenger comes. And now they're just going to go out to their little respective areas. And the gate's closed. Nice. So, we are about to take on the gym leader. We're going to check out our items real quick. Uh, go over to medicine. We do need to use... I have a paralyzed heal. We're just going to use that. And then also we'll use a regular potion. We have 11 of these bad boys. Uh, and we also have three super potions. I think we'll probably be good with what we have. So we also have that fresh water. Let's go ahead and do it. We're leaving Nugget in front. Climb up all these stairs. My little 10-year-old legs are tired. Ooh, he's even got his own little room. Gym mission cleared, boys. Are we going to go into an actual stadium here where there's like a crowd? I am excited to see how this is going to go. Ooh, it is a full-on stadium. Yo, this is legit. All right. The stands are packed. Been waiting here all day. Ooh, he's got his cool little Pokeball holders. What is popping? Number 831 is what his jersey has, which is cool. Not sure what that's all about. Maybe that's a Pokedex number of his ace Pokemon? Who knows? Yo, this is intense, though. My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging, but that didn't stop you from completing it. Hayden, it wasn't challenging at all, bro. It's Hayden. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. It's gonna be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I, if I want to win. Ooh, he going Dynamax. I... I have the Dynamax thing. But I guess we're about to see how this works. I have no idea what's what's going to go on here. First gym battle starting now. We got Milo. He has no nose, but he has a bunch of freckles. So he has two Pokemon. He leads off with a Gossifleur. It is going to... Oh, 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 shit. It's going down. Hold up. In the Gala region, Pokemon become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Your Pokemon can only Dynamax for three turns. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. These Max Moves not only deal tremendous damage, but they also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depending on the type of the move used. Choose carefully 
went to Dynamax your Pokemon and smash your way to victory. Cool, so level 19 Gossifleur. Um, we can Dynamax this thing right from the start. We're just going to click Flame Charge. Uh, maybe get a couple speed boost. I don't know. His last Pokemon's probably going to be what we're going to want to save our Dynamax for. But it seems like this is actually going to be pretty dang easy. Uh, this thing does have Magical Leaf, though. So that's actually not going to hurt at all. Even being neutral. You know what? Let's go ahead and smash that there, Dynamax. And then we'll go for a Max Flare. So now it changes to Max Flare, which is cool. Oh, it's going down. Pokeball is about to get massive. I actually think that this is a lot cooler than I thought it was initially. When I first saw they announced Dynamaxing, I was like, eh, not a big Pokemon, I don't know. But this actually looks pretty legit. This boy is huge. Truly in awe of the size of this lad. I bet you he's going to Dynamax too, or maybe he's going to save it for his next. I don't know. This Max Flare probably should have, uh, <laughs> probably should have been saved for the other Pokemon. I mean, we have three turns. So I assume we can use it again. Sunlight turned harsh. Ooh, so that's uh, that's what that effect is. And in the sunlight, fire type moves do more damage. Fun fact. So that'll be cool. Next is an Eldegoss. So we have not seen an Eldegoss before. We're gonna stay in because we're freaking huge. We're not gonna be done in that easy. We're tough as weeds. All right. So we have not seen one of these things yet. It is gonna be. I'm assuming that does it evolve from Gossifleur? I have no idea. It's level 20. And uh, we're going to go ahead and Max Flare that ass. So obviously he is going to Dynamax as well. You're about to be uprooted. Oh, Jesus. So some Pokemon just get bigger with Dynamaxing. Other Pokemon have their own different Dynamax forms. I suppose that's how that works. This thing is just going to get huge as hell. Super big ass battle going on right now. Oops, crazy ass audio too. What is this thing going to do? I assume it's going to have some type of trick up its sleeve. Unless this Max Flare just destroys it. That is going to be an easy two-hit KO, that's for sure. Now it's going to Max Strike me. What is, go what is going on here? Holy shit. The animation is wild. It did no damage. <laughs> that was, uh... It's going to drop my speed. Alright, well, one more Max Flare is going to do it for us. And our Dynamax turns did not even end. So the first gym battle, I assume they just kind of set it up nice and easy for you. Uh, just to kind of get the hang of it. How the gimmick works and all that, but I, I assumed he was going to have some more Pokemon, to be honest. Lily grew to level 19. Nice. And now we're going to shrink back to normal size. So, that was pretty interesting, and Milo's been defeated. Hell yeah. This guy's job is literally to get his ass beat all day. Power of Grass has wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. Get $3,200. That was pretty cool. I like the I like the stadium atmosphere. Must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof you have defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. First badge, boys. Nice little shake of hands. That dude has got some massive hands. Ooh. Nice. So the gym badges actually are all going to link together to be one final thing. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. An awkwardly long handshake. And, uh... We've done it. My most sincere congratulations on defeating the gym leader. Please accept this, accept this TM. So we get TM10 from Magical Leaf, which is nice. We can give that to our Gossifleur. Which is pretty sweet. You can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Nice. So we can actually change our uniform now, too. And here he is. How the hell did you get on that side of the room, bro? What? Some advice for you, Hayden. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next step, next stop should be Holberry to meet Nessa. Holberry is just beyond Route 5. Or since you got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than the Pokemon on your team, but they make, a pow make powerful allies if you succeed. Cool. We can go back to the wild area, which is sweet. Welcome to the uniform shop. Looking for anything in particular. Ooh, hold up. These are some dope-ass uniforms. Steel uniform psych. So they have a uniform for every type, and the psychic one be looking pretty legit. Electric one's cool, too. Ooh, poison, though. I kind of want one of these, but I don't know if I want to spend $8,000, $18,000 right from the start. Let's, uh... Hmm. I guess you can only get uniforms here. Wait, unless I 
Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we're not gonna buy a uniform just yet. Seems like that could be pretty cool, though. Also, was I supposed to talk to you? Yep, she's such a fan now because we won. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading out to see what else the world has got for us. So, not prompted to do anything. But uh, I assume we're just going to go ahead and hit up the Pokemon Center. We will check out the map and see where we're supposed to go next. Also, can I buy Super Potions? I'm going to see if I can get some now. Maybe some, even some Great Balls. Might be, might be nice. Can purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemart. Nice, now we can get new stuff. We can get Great Balls, freaking finally. We're going to get ourselves uh, probably like 20 of these bad boys. Because I'm assuming we're going to catch some cool new shit here pretty soon. And also some Super Potions. Let's get like 10 of these. We also got Premier Balls, which was nice. Um, when you buy over 10 of any Pokeball, you get Premier Balls, which is sweet. So we got a nice little collection of balls going as well. They're going to get healed up. The team is looking amazing. And I do want to teach Magical Leaf to Gossifleur, so hold up. Let's go ahead and do that. Open up the old TMs. Magical Leaf. Lily, this is for you. Um, so Magical Leaf at 60. Uh, it's just a little bit better of a Razor Leaf, and it, it can also never miss, which is kind of cool. Let's get rid of Sing, though, because I hate using Sing. That, like, 55 accuracy is not the damn business. So now we have Magical Leaf. Feeling magical. All right. Time to see what's going on over this way. But, wait, let's bust out the town map really quick so I guess we're pretty much done with that we can head over to route 5 this seems like the only way to go which leads us to Holberry so we're gonna have a nice little long journey over to route 5 assuming the there is gonna be a wild area over here but also we haven't gone down this way yet Hold, wait I saw a sparkle that I totally forgot about where was it there it is it's gonna be an energy route can be used to restore 120 HP to a single Pokemon nice what is going on over here really not a hit is it really nothing over here just a random little little outlet interesting Ooh, we got a tm it is brutal swing what is brutal swing hold up tm 97 swings its body around to violently inflict damage on everything in its vicinity that sounds pretty cray let's let's check it out brutal swing it is 60 power it is a dark move uh which nobody can learn which is interesting you would think Somebody could learn it, but that's fine. Heading back over to the right. This is another one of those things. What type is this one? Something's carving in the stone. It says fire. Cool. Also, we can't do any surfing yet. Or at least, I think when we get the bicycle, I've seen clips of people riding like the like water bicycles. Look at how amazing these, gra like, these graphics are beautiful. I really like the look of everything. All right, Route 5, we've arrived. And uh, ooh, got some uh, got some camera stuff going on. Hello. Time for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. Is this going to be a double battle? Like it usually is with the camera people? I assume so. Yep. Uh, so we should probably get some experience on somebody other than Nugget. Got a Clink. And a Helioptile. Nice. I haven't seen one of those boys yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and actually just Flame Charge the Clink. And I kind of want to switch out Dexter. Let's go into Snowball. Level 18, we definitely need to get this thing some levels. Still don't know what level it evolves. I mean, it's got to evolve. We can't just not give Wooloo an evolution. As much as we love Wooloo, just the way he is, it's got to evolve. Does some solid damage to the Clink. Get that speed boost. Thundershock. Actually, does a decent amount. Charge Beam. Don't attack Wooloo, damn it. Fuck. Why would you do this? actually does get the special attack boost too. Gonna finish you. And then we can double kick on the Helioptile. A normal and electric type, which is a really cool type. I don't think there's anything else with normal electric. Kind of interesting. All it really does is just give it more weakness. It's not the best having normal stab. I mean, you can uh, not get attacked by ghost moves, but I've always thought that was an interesting type for this thing. More Thundershock is gonna... Why does everybody team up on Snowball? I'm not a punching bag, I'm a Wooloo. Double kick, almost is enough for a one hit KO. Not quite, but Nugget should be able to finish it off. And that's how you do it. 
Only our second double battle so far. This guy's just filming the whole thing back there. He's not even focusing, man. All right. Do I get something? Do I have to do an interview? It's hard to describe it in just a few words. What an incredible potential. You know, thanks. I've been working on that. $3,600. We're really stacking up the paper. All right. Um, we are going to put Snowball in front. We are going to probably have to run back and heal it because we're right next to the Pokemon Center. Um, and we're going to be in the wild area soon, so assuming we're not going to have a Pokemon Center for quite some time, it'll be interesting to see what we can find. Uh, we will be able to camp, though, and finally make our first, like, curries for our Pokemon and see kind of how that works in terms of healing them up with cooking. So let's get one little heal just because our buddy Wooloo needs it, and we... We love him. All right. The team is all better now. All right, time to go figure out where the wild, this wild area is. If it even is a wild area. They did mention it, so. We're hoping. It's been a while. We can maybe try out doing a one of those raid battle things, if we can, even at this level. Which I assume we can. All right, we got some new Pokemon over here. We have a Chinchino. And then that's a Slur... Swir Swirlix? And also... A stuffle, but then a freaking Nuzleaf runs into us. Hello? That was a stuffle, right? I don't really remember. Let's go see what we've got here. Run away. Thank you. Nuzleaf and your weird nipples. Go, go ahead and get out of here. Also, it is, uh, you click in the left stick to be able to call stuff in. So that Swirlix really wants it. Oh my god, the stuffle is so adorable. He wants to attack me, though. So we shall not mess with it. Nice to see a new face around here. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. Uh, so we can leave Pokemon here, and this is great because we can actually do some breeding. And that should be actually really interesting. We're gonna mess around with that soon. But uh, for now, ooh. Oh, there's some some Team Yell stuff going on over there. We got the daycare. I like their, their eggs or Pokeballs on the top. Super cool. Also, we got a battle there. Well, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to check out uh, the long route to the next city. And it seems like things are starting to pick up in terms of getting to next gyms pretty quickly. And there's a long time in between uh, starting out and getting to the first gym. There's a, there's a lot of time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. Also, leave a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying the game. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Peace out.